What's happening ladies and gentlemen out there in YouTube land? I got a couple fresh builds up for sale coming out of the Terminator Labs this week. Starting with this Umarex Gauntlet 25 caliber side lever version. So that's one of the best bang for the buck PCPs out there on the market. I really feel like the Gauntlet series has a lot of value for dollar, especially when outfitted with the Terminator GTAC chassis. A couple upgrades such as a carbon fiber bottle, M-Lock bipod, folding rear shoulder rest, and a good looking and effective LDC up front, like the uh, 30 cal decimator carbon fiber. So the idea behind this build was to take a fresh Gauntlet G25 SL, fresh out of the box, see what kind of foot pounds it was kicking from the factory, then go ahead and do some power mods, some porting, run the terminator valve in there, and then see how much peak power we can get this thing to kick. So after doing all the porting, terminator valve, adjustable regulator, 700 cc carbon fiber bottle, this thing went from kicking 55 foot-pounds out of the box to 85 foot-pounds. So we gained about 30 foot-pounds in this 25 cal Gauntlet 25 SL. So we gained about almost 30 foot-pounds overall. Now this PCP air rifle right here will run your 40 grain slugs at 980 feet per second for 85 foot-pounds. So that's a lot of terminal ballistics coming out of a budget banger. So yeah, when I was testing this uh, platform, I don't have too many heavy slugs, but the H&N 40 grains shot real well. The uh, side cocking lever is real smooth. Uh, trigger, we got it adjusted down to about one pound. Decimator, LDC up front. The muzzle report is certainly backyard friendly. It's got the foldable bipod. It's got the foldable, collapsible bipod up front. Fully aluminum, nice quality piece. Got the uh, got the barrel harmonics kit under the shroud. Got the G-Shock bottle bands outside the shroud to take care of your harmonics and ensure your point of impact stays consistent. Folding rear shoulder rest, packing it up in your bag. And uh, yeah, this thing's for sale. Just hit me up. I'll leave our contact info down in the description below. Also, too, we've got a new, fresh Umarex Super Notos build. This one's accented with Army Green accessories. We've got the uh, bottle clamp with the M Lock bipod, the muzzle band, carbon fiber Wiener Dog LDC. It is equipped with a 580cc carbon fiber bottle. We've got the regulated drop lock with the power plenum. And out of the box, these Umarex Notos kick out 18 foot-pounds with 21 shots per fill. Then after all the modifications we do for the Terminator Super Notos, like the porting, the Terminator valve mods, the custom dual hammer springs, trigger adjustment, regulator tuning, we end up getting 35 foot-pounds with close to 150 shots per fill on a build like this. So we go from 18 foot-pounds to 21 shots per fill to 35 foot-pounds and close to 150 shots per fill with this uh, configuration right here. So as far as velocity output, we're shooting the JSB Hades at 985 feet per second from this rig right here. You can also shoot the heavier hunting projectiles like your Barracuda Hunters, Barracuda Hunter Extremes, 21 grains with good enough velocity that we get expansion from the hunting tip pellets. I've also ran a few slugs out of here with decent results. I still got to find what kind of slugs these barrels like, but now with the 35 foot pounds, you're able to uh, slink your lighter weight slugs like your uh, NSA 17.5 grains is a good match for this. And I've also been able to run some uh, Impulse Air 22 grain slugs. Pellets and slugs, lightweight build, compact, Umarex Notos, super build. Now on this unit to keep it light and compact, we ended up running the Arkin Zulus, day and night vision, digital recording optic on there and uh, yeah it's a real nice optic choice for this unit the only drawback that I have on it is we're, ha we're forced to run the OEM mags can't run the high capacity mags because of the uh, clearance so I had to order a few extra seven shot OEM mags for this rig to be able to take it out but anyways uh, this is brand new out of the box it's up for sale right now thousand bucks takes it 500 bucks extra if you want the optic so thousand or fifteen hundred your choice. If you got a Numerex Notos, 
go ahead and just send it in and we'll do the build for you right here in the shop ship it right back out to you turnarounds usually three days i think everybody who is a prepper or into pcps should definitely have a numerex notos build in their collection just due to the high shot count the compact and lightweight nature of this rig it's really versatile if you need a knockdown quarry out there 22 cal cheap ammo 150 shots you get a lot of usefulness out of this uh build right here then shout out to jack jitsy for commissioning this build right here it's an umarex gauntlet 30 bolt action We've got the decimator carbon fiber ldc up front 580 cc bottle uh, 20 inch carbine sized uh, compact barrel length running the uh, foldable shoulder rest packing it up in the bag and uh, yeah it's got the m-lock slots for bipod mounting it's got the picatinny rail down below for arca swiss adapters or picatinny bipod mounting it's got the uh, regulator set at 3000 psi fixed and uh, yeah great budget banger for taking medium sized quarry from a blind but yeah, I got to ship this out this week. It's going to be running a uh, Discovery HD 4 to 24 by 50 scope with the uh, one leaf night vision. So yeah, Jack, you're going to love this build. Uh, thanks for commissioning this. And uh, I'll get this right out to you, partner. And uh, for the rest of you out there, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bam, bam, bam.